softball fam. So, what do you do if you don't have a net? And how good are your fort building skills? I'm Amanda Smith. I am the head coach at White Zone Coaching, also the founder. And as you can see, I'm in my garage. Seems to be a common place where we practice softball. And when you're in a pinch and you need something to throw into, to hit into, well, yeah, employ those fort building skills. So what you can see behind me here is just some blankets that I have clamped on what I have is a, um, something my dad and I built, which is an attic, but this is what you do. You hang some blankets from the ceiling, from a raft or whatever you have in the garage. And as you can see, my blankets don't go all the way down to the ground. So I used another blanket at the bottom so it anchors the bottom of my blankets so that when I hit the blanket with a softball, it goes down to the ground instead of flying back to the wall, which behind this I have my lawnmower. I don't want to hit my lawnmower with my softballs. I've used some clamping. So right here you can see I've got just a nice little clamp that you can get at Home Depot or Harbor Freight. And I know we're not supposed to go out into the world, so use what you have at your house. You can see above me, I've got a clamp onto the rafter there. Duct tape works as long as the material is, you know, kind of sticky. <laughs> so this is your fort building skills at work to make your makeshift net. Now, if you've got a pop-up net, of course, use this, people, use this. But I'm going to be sending you videos later today for hitting, for pitching, and for catching, so stay tuned.